Hi guys and welcome to this Sunday evening Facebook Live. My name is Jodie Bunting and this evening I would like to share with you my weight loss journey. Now for my job working as a coach for Weight Watchers I had to do a presentation um, and this presentation had to be something about how I felt passionate about. Um, and of course the most passionate thing in my life is my personal weight loss struggle. If you haven't heard the story before, you may find this really interesting and hopefully some inspiration. Just bear in mind when I give you this presentation that I had to really sell myself in a job-like way. So uh, just remember that when I show you the things I do in my presentation. It is interactive, so if you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask. So this is me, um, I was three or four years old in this picture and you can see even back then look I had my little chubby cheeks, I had hair at the time, lovely blonde hair so that was me when I was a child. Hi Dawn, welcome guys for watching. Right then moving on, so what happened then from that little uh, boy who grew a lot, uh, what happened was my mother and father both worked at the Nestle factory in Hatton. Um, basically there was lots of foods in the house, especially lots of chocolate and I would run home from school and gorge myself in chocolate. Uh, and also my mum would feed me like a nice low calorie breakfast and I'll pop into my grandmother's on the way to school and on the way back home from school and have extra food. So by the time I was 13, at the end of primary school, I was 13 stone. My weight was going up with my years. So this was me as an obese kid. Then, on the last year of uh, secondary school, I lost it all. So I went from being this chubby boy uh, to this very slim young boy when I left school. Hi Aisha, welcome to the live video. Um, and basically my mum went, my mum took me along to a swimming club which was Shoreway Swimming Club in Etwall with a lovely lady called Vanessa. Um, and she got me in the Derby Telegraph because basically I lost about nine stone um, in one year because it was my final year of school. Um, and the interesting thing, if you have a look at my top tips even back then when I was 17 years old uh, you do not have to uh, you have to have a goal why do you want to lose weight number two join a club you'll get support number three if you're tempted eat something healthy or get busy uh, number four exercise stop me from feeling hungry and number five to keep you, your weight off have the odd treat at the weekend. So even back then, my advice was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Welcome Sarah, welcome Lita to the video. So then what happened guys is I left school and I went to catering college, which for an overeater is really not that great. Uh, however, what I did do when I lost weight, I really got into exercise. So this is my uh, large extended family. This is me. Um, and I trained to be a fitness instructor. So when I was 17 years old, uh, I hired the local school hall and we did a fitness class. And this is us all. Here's my mum, look. Uh, where's my sister? Oh, my, I think my sister was taking the photo. But here's a lot of my aunties and my cousins. Uh, welcome Maureen to the live video. So I went to catering college, I passed everything, uh, restaurant, food preparation, etc. Even I won this Outstanding Personality Award. Cha-ching! <laughs> and then I went to work in a call centre. Now Thelma's watching. Now Thelma, I don't think you're on this photo, but Thelma knows this hall. Thelma stood in front of me when I weighed 31 stones. So I went to catering college, I started to exercise a lot, um, but I then went to work in a call centre. And the problem with working in a call centre is you eat a lot because you're basically sitting there eating. And that's exactly what I did. I sat and ate. Um, I was working a little bit for Derby City Council, I was doing one class a week and they asked me to run 
an exercise class just for overweight people. And this is one of my life-changing moments, guys. Here's me at 31 stone. Here's my mum, there's my sister. Um, and basically, you can see all these people queuing to get in the door because it was in the Dolby Telegraph that I'm exercising. Uh, Catherine, thank you, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Welcome everybody to the video. Um, so yes, yeah, so this was a an overweight person only exercise class um, and it was one of the most popular things I ever did in my whole entire life. Um, then we also were doing um, a charity event and I messaged the Dobby Telegraph saying oh, I'm doing a charity event could you uh, feature it in the newspaper. P.S. I'm 31 stones and I teach fitness. The next day this was in the Telegram. How Jody is twice the man he used to be from this to this. Ta da! <laughs> but obviously, I'm not a shy person anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, and obviously, it was great exposure. But then something even more amazing happened. The Big Breakfast on Channel 4 called me and said, Oh, could you pop on and do an interview? So I went down to London. Um, and they, I was, they, they loved me so much on the TV show that they offered me a full-time job. So I went to work uh, as the motivator, as this newspaper called me, opposed to the motivator. But you can see I was still really big and really flexible. Um, but I did work on national television with one million viewers. Now, when my slot ended a few months later, I then went to work for Ram FM, you can see over here. And as an on-air piece for Ram FM, myself and Ray Earl, who's one of the presenters, we went to Sue's Weight Watchers class. So this is Sue, who used to run the Weight Watchers group in the assembly rooms. And me and Ray went along to her club for quite a few months. Um, and this was at the Race for Life at Dolly Park when I did do the class with Sue. So I, obviously I put this in my presentation just to explain that I do have some experience with Weight Watchers. Um, then I got to my goal weight. So this is me guys at 12 stone. Um, and at that time I went to work for Rosemary Connolly. You can see the Rosemary Connolly uh, pictures on there. Um, now, unfortunately, I did myself out of a job because remember, my unique selling point, point, my UPS, was the fact that I was 31 stones in teaching fitness. And suddenly, I've gone down to 12 stones and I'd lost my unique thing. Yes, I was teaching fitness, um, but I wasn't that novelty thing that gave me the exposure anymore, which to be honest, I didn't care about because I was you know, really getting into full-time fitness. Now, one of the things you can see, the, the, the huge weight loss left me with this skin fold, which was over here. Um, and thankfully, I did have on the NHS a surgery um, and that was removed. I also had a butt tuck as well. Um, so that's just a little note. Then I went to work in fitness, like seriously. I was like, I was, and I even won this award, guys, um, for being the best fitness, group fitness manager in the UK. Um, so me, to go from 31 stones to the best group fitness manager in the UK is a big thing. So obviously I'm like, wow. Why I was there, I did my uh, pre and postnatal fitness qualification. I even did a pole dancing qualification. So every single class that you could get qualified for, I did. Um, which again, looking back, it's great. Also in 2004, I ran the London Marathon. So here's me uh, running as Miss Starlight, basically a blow up uh, thing. I did it for the Starlight Children's Foundation. Then I was living in London. Um, and I decided, you know, the London life, it wasn't what I expected. So then I was looking online for other places to work. Let's go abroad. And I found this lovely job in Egypt. So here's me teaching water aerobics in this fantastic place. Um, and I loved my life. My life there was just great. So you had this tourist area, but then you had your Egyptian friends and local Egypt. Now here's me. And here's a lot of Egyptian people. This is me in the Egyptian village. Um, and basically some of the lifeguards that I work with invited me to take them to their Egyptian houses. 
Now, the reason I've put this here, because health-wise, this is a game changer. In these very poor Egyptian villages, there is no cancer, there is no obesity, the people are happy even though they have next to nothing in life. Um, and I was questioning, you know, the Egyptian people, the people that worked in the health club, why are these people so healthy? And the answer is because they live off the land. They don't, they can't afford to buy stuff, so they have to grow their own vegetables. Uh, you know, they breed their own chickens. They eat the eggs from their chickens. They milk their own cows. And that was the secret why they were so healthy. So obviously I've been struggling with my weight and my health for a long time. So for me to discover this in the middle of nowhere, when you can see I'm dancing and having a party, was a little bit of a game changer for me. Now while I was in Sharm El Sheikh as well, I had a great time. <laughs> Here's me dressed as Pink Gaga, dancing on the beach um, for a Race for Life warm up. Um, so although there's that very serious side, I had the most amazing time ever in Egypt. And again, I went full circle from, you know, going into hotel management to still doing my fitness thing. Also, while I was in Egypt, I also won this award for excellent service. I started to work in the hotel as a guest relation manager and not doing entertainment, which again, I'm really proud of because the customer service I gave, the problem solving and stuff, um, I was really good at and loved it. Then I came back to the UK and decided, look, I want to be thin forever. I want to be like these Egyptian people. How do they be so healthy? So I decided to study holistic health and I got this qualification, which is a Czech holistic lifestyle coaching, cho coaching level one. Um, and again, it wasn't just looking at diet, it was looking at everything. So from there, I started to teach fitness, and these are my current fitness classes that I teach around Derby and Burton. Um, and this is the current state where I am. Now, part of the presentation, I had to give an example how I would motivate somebody that wasn't as passionate about something as me. And basically, if somebody is overweight out there and they want to lose weight with diet or they want to lose weight with exercise, this is a photo of me at 31 stones doing a star jump. You can see I'm clearly off the floor. Um, and for me, you know, that's really inspirational, the fact that somebody so big could even wear this outfit and do a star jump. Um, so this is how I would use my impersonal story to motivate somebody who maybe was struggling with going to a gym. Now many people may accuse me of being a yo-yo dieter. You can see I went up, I went down, I went up, I went down and I've gone back up again. I'll admit it. Um, and if you have never been, if you've never had a weight problem, if you've never lost weight before, you will never understand this, guys. Just stop now because you won't understand how dieters or food lovers struggle with their weight. Because, you know, when giant things happen in your life, you know, when your relationship changes, when your job changes, you know, this is what can cause these massive weight differences and also your happiness and your sadness. Um, but what I believe in is definitely from here, I've got healthier. And for me, this is, you know, I've changed the relationship with food and I've focused on health rather than back here when it was all about how much the scales say. Uh, here's an example of some of my <laughs> slimmers. This is the lovely Bev. She lost two stone in eight weeks. This is the lovely Anne, who not only lost over a stone, but look at her lovely face, changed again, her health. This is Dave, who lost three stone over, I think, about four months. This is Katie, who now goes to Slimming World. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Katie lost loads of weight and she even went a lot thinner than that as well guys and she's actually at target weight with Slimming World. This is Ali, Ali K and again never mind the weight loss just look at his face guys how he got so healthy in the face over eight weeks was just great. Um, then let's talk about my social media expertise. So this is my YouTube channel uh, I've got 668 subscribers 2 million views. 
which is my second YouTube channel, 1,500 subscribers, 1.6 million views. You'll see the difference. My name, Jody and Joseph Spenlove. I changed my name when I decided to become a Christian. So I was born at Jody Bunting. I changed it by default to Joseph Spenlove to be more of a Christian name. Um, and those of you who know me now, I'm using Jody Bunting as a stage name, but on my passport, I'm still called Joseph Spenlove. This may change in the future. My most watched video ever is this one, <laughs> me having a live colonic irrigation on Channel 4. Do not watch it if you're eating or drinking, because you will see my poo. It has 1 million and 1.2 million views, and that was ten, over 10 years ago, guys, and people are still watching it loads every day. But have a little watch. Again, this, remember this presentation was for Weight Watchers and just an example of the videos on my channel. You can see back in January of this year, my mum joined Weight Watchers and I made a video about the new zero foods. Um, when I was looking at joining Weight Watchers as a coach, um, I made a video, I bought the new scales and made a video about them. And when I joined Weight Watchers, there was a uh, gluten-free and dairy-free recipe in there, lemon baked oats, and I made them. The views are not huge, but again, I just wanted to put this in my presentation to show that I love making videos and blogging about things that I love. Now this is one of my Facebook pages, this is my old Facebook page and you can see down here I have 12,000 followers and I also have 5,000 friends. This is me on Twitter, I have 17.8 thousand followers. This is my Instagram, 6,000 followers. Now this is Google Plus, um, this is my old Google Plus account, I have 1,600 followers. The reason I'm telling you this is because I love Google Plus because whatever you put into it comes up in Google search, aid, search engines also almost immediately. This is pin interest for people who like following, uh, 386 followers I've got on there. LinkedIn, so people who don't generally like social media, you will find, find a lot of business people are on LinkedIn if they're not on social media. And you can see I almost have 5,000 connections. For our lovely Eastern European people, um, when I was in Egypt, I got really used to using VK, which is basically the Russian alternative of Facebook. And you can see here, I have 473 Eastern European friends. This site is also famous for American and Egyptian guys going on looking for Egyptian girls. <laughs> Sorry, for Russian girls. But obviously I use it and I find it really productive for my Russian friends. Now, then you have the Insta feed. So obviously the original was Snapchat. This is one of my uh, posts on Snapchat. It's got 54 views. The reason I'm showing this in my presentation is I want to show that I'm not scared to share my story and here's me topless which not many people could do girls obviously wouldn't do that but guys also can be a little bit ashamed of it but again i'm showing that i've lost over 30 over one stone in 30 days um, and also an example of my challenge uh, the reason also i put this in my presentation is that people can find it difficult if you haven't personally experienced being gluten-free or being vegetarian. So I really believe in trying these things just so you can understand how people feel. Um, this is just a post on my instant Facebook story. That was the England game last week. Um, and this is WhatsApp. So for those of you who use WhatsApp, a lot of people that don't use social media use WhatsApp. And just an example how you can post stories now on WhatsApp. It's only got five views, but those five people that have viewed that story are generally people that are not on social media. Um, and the most popular instant social media for me is Instagram. You can see this one's got 86 views opposed to the other social media challenge. Now, as you may know, um, I love my fitness pal. It's an app where you can put in your fitness. You can also put in your, um, you can count your calories and you can put in your fitness. Um, I have 131 connections, including this guy called Beef Tastic. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, but the reason I tell you about my fitness pal is because the Weight Watchers app 
is amazing. It's basically like my fitness pal, but better. Um, at the end of the day, you are paying for this on weight, which is so it better be good. Um, now, I decided to give this a go. I joined Weight Watchers. I hadn't really played that much with the Connect side of this app. So I put my photo on, put my name, just put uh, formerly 31 stones. Uh, put one little thing on there, and amazingly, I had like huge interaction. I had like eight likes and three comments straight away when I posted a photo of me um, with a Weight Watchers lemon bake. Um, so I decided, oh, I'm going to put this photo on and I'll just say I've just started on Weight Watchers. Um, I've lost 13 stone, I've got three left to go. 333 likes, everybody, in 24 hours. And for me, you know, I love social media, but to get that sort of feedback, you know, this Weight Watchers app is big, 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 big. Um, and this is another example of the Weight Watchers app that I'm using. So I'm eating my protein porridge. I've put an example of that. Um, and I, for lunch that day, I had celery and peanut butter it used 15 points. So again, that's just an example of me using and loving the Weight Watchers app. Where have I gone? Okay, so then... Talk about my personal life. Now, because my, uh, my boyfriend is Muslim, I can't show you guys on Facebook Live the photo of me and him. Um, but I did share the photo. I did show in the interview the photo of myself and my boyfriend. So I'm gay. Um, I have a lovely boyfriend um, who is Muslim. Um, and the reason I show you that is because... It